Hello, and this is a little video about um, singing for yourself and vocal health, keeping your voice healthy. Um, it's incredibly important, especially in the profession that we are all in, teaching music, teaching, singing, singing with your classes, and if you do lead choirs, we'll lead the singing in your school. Uh, it's, it's really important. We only have one voice and we've got to do our best to look after it. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever suffered vocal damage, but it can include things like breathiness, huskiness in your voice, hoarseness, loss of your voice, uh, sore throat, tension, um, and just breaks uh, in your pitch when, you, when you're talking or when you're singing, and vocal fatigue. Um, I'm a big um, believer in vocal health. Um, I have a, I've had trouble with my voice uh, ever since I had a bit of a part in a show, and I I know I didn't warm my voice up properly and I was singing slightly out of the range that I'm kind of used to and comfortable with. So I think I pushed my voice a bit and I had nodules for a little while on my voice. And I still think uh, today I uh, have a slight break around a few notes around the lower range where you and you might hear them in these videos where uh, there is still a slight little bit of huskiness in my voice that I, I haven't been able to eradicate. You're meant to rest your voice and you'll do lots of exercises, but being in teaching, uh, it was quite a difficult thing to do. So I cannot stress enough. It's really important to look after your voice. Um, you have your vocal folds. They, they tend to be quite smooth, um, covered in mucus, white surface, um, but any uh, kind of abuse on your vocal cords, uh, you tend to get little nodules on your folds. It can start as bruising and if you, you can heal it and look after it and drinking lots of water, but they, it can develop, uh, which is what developed on my vocal cords. And you get little nodules and you tend to have one either side. And what happens is they don't properly meet and then they cause kind of a bit of friction. And when they don't meet, you don't get the full sound. And that's where you get all the huskiness and the hoarse, hoarseness. Contributing factors to uh, problematic voices, screaming, not a good idea. Raising your voice. And we know that can be hard above 30 children sometimes. Uh, smoke, coughing, talking lots and lots and lots, uh, and talking when stressed. Um, and anyone who uses their voice a lot is in a, a risk category, but teaching is quite a high risk one. Um, things that you can do to look after your voice uh, and things that I've tried to do in my day so much more now than I'm used to. Uh, if we ever know when we're teachers, we go flying job to job, class to class, lesson to lesson, don't always get a break, uh, and time to drink. It is so important. I now have with me at all times my bottle of water. I find the difference in my day uh, and after teaching for an hour, my voice doesn't feel hoarse or dry. Whereas if I've gone a day without it, I can really tell that my voice is tired and it's, it's not feeling great. Drink lots of water. If you can, and then your lunch hours, get out and get a breath of fresh air. Fresh air is really good for the voice. Uh, indoor air really dries out the voice. It's really good to get the fresh air in there. Uh, rest your voice if you can. Rest it after long periods of talking. Uh, and pace your voice. And I know lots of you that are brilliant at teaching out there know how to do other things other than use your voice when you want to uh, raise awareness and, and get children working. Um, try not to clear your voice with that cough. <laughs> you know, that we do, because uh, that puts tension on the vocal cords. Uh, try and swallow instead. Uh, and it's this is really hard to say, because in our jobs it comes sometimes, but try to avoid stress. If you are stressed, your voice is stressed. And if you try and sing when you're stressed, and you're singing on your voice and it's stressed, uh, it's gonna cause problems. And actually, don't whisper. Whispering is not good for the voice. Uh, puts more pressure on the voice, and um, it causes vocal fatigue, tiredness a lot quicker than it would normally. So thinking about all those things and what we can do to really help our voices, we're now gonna think of um, different ways we can warm up our voice uh, for either our day at work, because these vocal exercises will work for that, or if we're going off and going to go and um, sing. So the first way to start getting the voice working is humming. Uh, humming is really good. Uh, it's kind of the best vocal warmer because it doesn't put any strain um, on your vocal cords. Um, so it's really gentle way to start to get into the thing and get into the voice working. And um, the first thing we can do is imagine you've got a delicious chocolate cake in front of you, uh, and it's that sound that you might make. So just play with that. 
sound around your vocal range. Uh, just go with me or go with your own way. Fantastic. And now we'll do one where we go up and down um, a scale. Just again, if you place your tongue behind your uh, bottom teeth and then uh, just a nice open. I sit down. Just bear in mind to keep my while I'm just going to sit down and try and keep. So nice. And if you feel that. Um, at the hum at the front of your mouth and a nice buzz on the, the lips. So remember humming and if ever you're feeling a bit tired during the day or anything just do some gentle humming around uh, it'll help you get started. The lip buzzing is a good one to do as well it's nice and simple in terms of vocal warm-ups you just try to make yourself sound like a motorbike uh, so that's the kind you want the lip uh, lip buzzing and you can do some glides down and up and up and down so just go where you want to with it There you go. So lip buzzing is another good one. Okay, we're going to siren now. Siren's really good for playing and making, kind of getting that muscle working. Um, so again, you're just going playing around with your vocal range, really, um, gliding top to bottom, bottom to top. So uh, let's just try. working. Okay, this is a lovely vocal warm-up uh, and really good for uh, articulation. We're going to use numbers. So it's our one, one, two, one. One, one, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, eight, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seven six five four three two one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, another warm up using numbers. Uh, this one can lead to confusion, but it's good fun and again articulation. Uh... Okay, so you ready? Mm -hmm. 
One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three. Four, five, 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 one. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, one. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, one, two. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to warm up our voice now on vowels, okay, uh, going up and down the scale. Um, the first set are me, may, my, mo, mu. You get that nice oo sound. Me, may, my, mo, mu. Okay, and the, it goes. Okay, so it is. Me, may, my, mo, mu. I've just realised I'd probably start that a bit higher, so we'll go down a bit. We'll start a bit lower. Me, 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 my, mo, mu. Me, me, my, mo, mu. Okay, this time we are going to go up the scale on an E. So it'll be like this. And I'll go down again a bit. Okay, this is a really lovely exercise. You can do it visually as well, so you can see where you are placing the sound each time. It starts on an N, mm, then we move to an E, and then it's an R ah sound. So it goes like this. placing your breathing so constantly think when you're doing these warm-ups posture and um, breathing from the diaphragm keeping those shoulders still filling out so that the, the diaphragm's filling out you're pulling out your tummy like you're blowing up a balloon and that whole try and do that now in one breath that whole phrase then we'll go back again i'll go a bit low again so we'll start there this time and just try now and do it in one breath phrase you ready so take that breath in to start with Ah, 
Okay, this is a lovely warm up and the words are, anytime I get the opportunity to warm up my voice, I'm going to warm it up, warm it up. Anytime I get the opportunity to warm up my voice, let me hear you say, hey, hey, four times. And then you say again, sing again. Anytime I get the opportunity to warm up my voice, and we're going kind of up the scale and climbing with our voice. So let's have a go. Anytime I get the opportunity to warm up my voice, gonna warm it up, warm it up. Anytime I get the opportunity to warm up my voice. familiar now once you've warmed up your voice you can just ease in with some uh, nice singing um this is my bonnie lies over the ocean it's got some nice little leaps for the voice uh some singing on some lovely bow sounds and there's a fun element that we'll add into it so just concentrate on singing beautifully my bonnie lies over the ocean the piano for this bit because it can't do both I've tried I can't play and move at the same time so every time it's a B you're going to stand up or sing sit down so so my bonnie lies over the ocean my bonnie lies over the sea my bonnie lies over the ocean ocean so bring back my bonnie to me Bring back, bring back, I'll bring back my bonnie to me, to me. 
Bring back, bring back, oh, bring back my bonnie to me. See what I mean? It requires a lot of thinking. So this time, I'm going to play it. You can do all the sitting and jumping up and down and I'll just sing it. Are you ready? Remember, stand up and sit down every time you sing a beat. successful than me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little guide to things that you can do to warm up your voice. Uh, your voice is incredibly important, uh, especially in teaching and singing and any kind of way that if you use your voice a lot in the work that you do. Um, so it's really important to look after it. So try and take on all those tips, try and warm it up if you can. I know it's hard in a busy day to kind of think about that, but uh, it really is, really is important to do. I can't stress it enough. So look after your voice. Hope those warm-ups helped and keep doing them and keep singing. Thank you very much.